So here we have Cadbury, and for this week's video, this is going to be Cadbury's Go Home video. So it's going to have all of her commands in it, that way when she comes home, you can refer back on it and be able to watch her do all of her commands in case you forgot after she goes home. Cadbury, I'm going to call her to me. Cadbury, come. Yay, it's good girl. She's trying to get into a crate right now. Good girl. I'm going to have her do a sit. I'll have her do it down. You can hear that reward with all four feet and bellies on the ground. Sit. Uh -uh. Sit. Good. Down. Good girl. I'll bring that crate over. We'll do her kettle and weight commands. So for the sitting down, the sit is very self-explanatory. Come here. Okay, ready? Uh-uh. Come. Sit. Good. So hand signal. Sit. Down is reverse. Almost like you're pressing yours down and into the sky. All right. Now, switch it back. She can go in there and get that treat that she's been wanting. Okay, I'll grab a couple more treats. has already done the command to reward the command. Now I'm going to tell her to wait. Open that door up. Okay. Good girl. After she's already done that command, give the reward. Now I'm not going to give her a reward, but just automatically going in there. Come here. Good girl. Yes. Good kennel. Shut that door. Wait. Okay. Now, so the rule, there's a few um, different things you can do to kind of exclude that rule for making her weight in the kennel. The number one being in the morning when she just woke up, you want to get her right out of the kennel. You don't want her sitting in the kennel. Making her weight when she's really excited, she has to go to the bathroom. So making sure she, you just load her weight on the morning. Practices during the day don't always make her weight, especially early, early in the morning. Eventually down the road, that's going to be perfectly fine. She's going to be able to hold her um, potties for a lot longer and be able to kind of anticipate when she gets to grow. But right now, we like to let her right out, get her right outside, going to the bathroom right away. Wait. Okay. Good girl. I'll have her do it one more time. Count. Don't mind the other dogs having their crate time. They are getting a little jealous and want to be on their crates, but we're just trying to ignore them. Wait. Okay. Good girl, Cadbury. Good girl. Now we're going to move this crate right out of the way. on our carpet runner that's in here. And if she were to go into a down and tell her, uh-uh. Now the reason I do have her on a runner, but steady, sit, is because a lot of times on hardwood floors or concrete floors, they'll slip out and slide into a down stay. Now we want to make sure they're set up for success. So having her do that stay, good girl. Having her do that stay on the runner kind of sets her up for success as well as you during long-term training sessions, say, or long-term training in general, being able for her to decipher how she can do that. Okay, good girl. Trying to lure her back up into that sit. That way she knows the difference between a sit state and a down state. Having her do it on that runner lets her know that she doesn't need to um, slide out during a sit state. 
can get comfy, she can stay comfy and not be sliding all over the place. Good, stay, okay. Good girl. And the release word for all of our commands is always okay in that higher pitch tone. Hi, Erica. Yes, good job. Good girl. Now I'm gonna have her do some down stays. Down. Waiting her out. I gave her that command. Down. Stay. We gave her that command. We wanted to make sure she follows through. Stay. Now give her that stay, that flat open hand telling her to stay. Now the stay commands are a lot more structured than the place command would be. So a stay means stay. Whatever position they're in, a sit or a down, it means to stay there until the release. So we don't want her popping into a down from a sit. We don't want her sitting up into a sit during a down stay. So making sure we correct those behaviors, that way she knows the difference between the two. And then the place command, she can do whatever she wants on that bed as long as she stays there. So just knowing the difference between the two is very important. Oh. Um, that way you can teach her the proper way and she knows um, she, as she knows right now. Okay. A lot of people use these commands. Say you're going to the store and you need to put her into a sit stay while you get something on the high shelf. Different things like that. They're all very, very useful situations for that. Say. to do a stay with a flat open hand, but I just, or with a treat in my hand or the flat open hand, so I just try my best to just dodge stay with that flat open hand. I can walk around, break eye contact from her. I can do whatever. As you can tell, some dogs are getting a little bit jealous. Good. Place. Good girl. Place. Now you can use any sort of dog bed for this kind. It doesn't have to be this super hugely raised bed. It can be just a current bed like that one. It can be a soft, cushy, regular dog bed. You can use whatever you want. Some people even use, say, this runner mat or their place command where they can walk from end to end side to side, but you just can't come off of it. It's pretty much the same aspect. She used a carpet or a rug. I know a lot of people who like to do that as well. Good girl. Good girl, Kevin. Place. Good girl. Good job. Good job. Good place. I'll go get a treat. We'll do this one more time. Place. Okay. Good girl. And I don't like to give the release word. Can't break place. Place. Good girl. I don't like to give the release word from a super far away distance because I don't want me to accidentally go out of sight and her think she may have got the release. So I do like to come up close and get the release. Now if you would like to get her far away. Excuse me. 
Um, if you would like to give a car away, that's personal preference. I personally don't recommend doing that, only because you don't want them to anticipate always getting relief from a far away distance. Okay, good job. Good girl, now we'll go step outside, do some leash walking and her car command with her weight. And yeah, we'll finish up with that. Sure. Sit. Good girl. So this quick clip is going to be Cadbury with her car command. So I'm going to open that door. Now she is so used to this. She just jumps right in without me having to say the word. Good car. Good girl. But to have her wait when you get her out, you're going to have her in there. I'm going to shut the door. I'm going to tell her to wait in a firm tone of voice. Same with the kennel. Take that leash. Get her all situated and ready to come out. And tell her, okay. Good girl, which is the release word, and now she knows that she can come out of the car. Here, give her that reward. Now for getting in the car, Cadbury, car. Pointing to the car, telling her car. Um, you can use pretty much whatever word you want to use for this command. She loves to get in the car, so it doesn't really matter. Wait, just making sure she waits and you make her wait when she gets out. Sets you up for success, especially in a busy parking lot if she wanted to jump out. Okay. Good girl, yes, good job. Lots of positive marker words for this command. Going to get in one last time. Cabaret car. Yes, good job. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Okay, good. Yes, good girl. Now I'm going to shut that door. We're all done. Pretty much the same within the back hatch. She does get up into the back hatch this way. Come on. Yes. Getting her away from those other dogs barking. Uh, uh, uh. Kind of getting her distracted or um, interested in something else and not distracted by those other dogs. This way. Telling her this way whenever I'm changing direction for some leash walking skills. This way. Yes, good girl, good girl. Lots of positive marker words, even though she's not really doing what I ask. Cadbury, this way. Good girl. Next time she's more apt to because she hit the end of that leash. That's not what she wants to do. Good girl, Cadbury. Good girl. This way. Yes, good girl. I'm going to grab a reward for her because she is doing good. This way. We have the kids playing basketball upstairs. Good girl. So she hears the booming on the ground. Come on. Yes, good girl. This way, Cadbury. And when I stop, I really want her to sit. So if she doesn't, Cadbury, this way. Kind of pull her back. Then lure her. Sit. Good job. Good girl. Yes. Now the same thing. Once she goes into that sit, that's when I give her the reward. Even if I have to give her a light hand signal. Good. Sit. Yes. This way. Do it again. If she goes out. Okay, break. Lure her back to my side, telling her to sit again. Even if it's just that hand signal, no words. Good girl. Good sit. This way. Good girl, yes, good girl. This way, come on, come on. I'm trying to untangle un This way, good girl. Just keeping it extra positive. She does do great on the leash. This way, oh, is it Brandy Nola? She's coming to say hi. This way, uh, uh, uh. I don't want her to get super distracted. This way, come on. Good girl, uh, 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 uh. Good girl. Still not making sure to not pull me, even though she wants to play with her friend. Good girl. <laughs> I'm going to end this before it gets too crazy and too windy. But Cadbury did good, and she's doing very good with her leash walking. Come on, Cadbury. Let's go inside.